right? Usual process, please. Cameras, then we'll turn cameras. Oh, it's your morning, all right? I see you, Ages. You okay? Look good. Are we all happy at the back, folks? Right. Good, don't you? <coughs> um, right. Sure, first of all, thanks for your time. Um, any injury updates for us at all? Um, probably the most relevant. Stephen DeFore came off at Leicester. Um, mild twist in his knee. Uh, he's made really good progress and we're expecting him to be fine. Um, trained very well. Um, then Ben Gibson will get, he's over the worst of his um, uh, hernia. Um, he'll join him in the development squad this week in a game. Um, hopefully on Saturday. Uh, he's had a really good week's training. He's very super fit uh, pro anyway, so he's looked after himself for sure. Looking forward to having him back, of course, and, and I'm sure he's looking forward to be getting back after an interrupted start to his Burnley career. Um, Tark is at his done, and he's clear. He's going nicely on the grass. He's not quite with us yet, so probably going to come too early for him Monday. Um, but making good progress. Then behind that, the, the slightly longer term ones, Stephen Ward's going well. And uh, Nick Pope's been back on the grass with Billy Mercer, our goalkeeping coach. Um, not, not training with the first team yet in, in full active training, but making really good progress. Um, so yeah, really pleased with that and, and beginning to show strong signs of numbers coming back our way. When you look back at the Leicester game, aside from obviously the, the difficulty surrounding emotionally the, the situation, yeah. what was your take on the game? Well, tough game for that, but then, as you said, seeing beyond that, um, I thought the structure of the side was better. Um, I thought it looked more like what we we, we look like, if you like, and we're on a, a, a consistent level of performance. Still more to come. You know, I think we we showed a lot of signs of sort of continued belief in the growth and literal growth in performances last season. That stuttered a bit at the beginning of this season, many different reasons, um, I feel. Um, we've affected it with a look at the stats on ourselves. We do have them, you know, often people put them out there as if we're oblivious to them, but we do have our stats. Um, so we know where the team is, um, not just on our eyes, you understand, but the actual factual breakdown of where the team is. And we know that still needs adjusting. Um, but we are showing signs of getting back for the last number of weeks we are showing signs they're getting back to where we want to be and how difficult is that is it a physical thing is it a mental thing of trying to I think a lot I think, I think uh, the physical demands early part of the season have an effect definitely because you do with so many games it's not just games you miss a lot of training in between you know a lot of sharp training that you'd normally have or certainly we have uh, and the mental side is a different it's been a different start to the season this season and the last few weeks that's gone away of course and, we, and we've had to speak to the players about that and kind of you know, it's done, you know, not, not, not just literally the last couple, by the way. I mean, you know, say five or six weeks ago when we came out of Europe, that first spell, still a bit confusing. Then it's like, right, OK, we parked that. And we've got to start rebuilding into the season. You know, big experience, new experience for a lot of players, including myself and the staff, um, you know, and it's well documented the challenge that brings. But once we've parked that, I think the, the signs on the training field, you know, great pride in the way the players here work and, and signs beginning to show on a more consistent level throughout a 95-ish minute performance. I've been happy with the signs that have been shown uh, the last few weeks and now it's about taking the, the, the next game on. Uh, when you, as a manager, you always take the positives out of it. What, what do you take out of the recent games? Is it the mentality, trying to stay strong in the West? Yeah, the mentality is a big one. Um, you know... Uh, Resolute to the the defending side of things, you know we're we're renowned for that for the right reasons, and and we've delivered many good performances. A bit more up and down this season, but I thought yet again Leicester was a good sign of that. The shape of the side, the energy of the side, and the way it operated. We still know we need to to do more on the offensive side, and and we've still you know adding to that. There has been some injuries that have, have affected that. I feel, um, but they're coming back fit now and give us more options. Um, so I think I think like I say, signs. You know, there's no guarantees. You know, football doesn't do guarantees. You know, you, you work hard to to bring the odds your way of, of getting a good performance, but there's no guarantees. But but I see clear signs, um, and there's beginning to see some some factual signs. You know, from the stats and the, the way that we look at the the stats of the side the good thing is we know when our successful periods are we know the pass maps we know our uh, possession we know f final third entries we know box entries we've got all that we've been here six years so we understand all that we know when we're really on our performance but then it's not accepting that it's getting back to that and then moving again so I think that's what we're looking to do you'll have watched Newcastle <coughs> in recent weeks have you seen a steady improvement you think I mean the, the results seven points out of nine suggest it 
Well, I think sometimes there's a bottom and out period. Uh, I don't mean on a league table. I mean, where maybe, you know, it, it, it's just a strange thing. The team bottoms out and then it's ready to go again. And you need a couple of twists and a couple of bits of luck and you might get a result. And then you get another one and, and life feels different. Maybe they're going through that. I can't guarantee that, but that sometimes happens. I don't think it's uh, any radical difference in the shape of the side and the belief in what the manager wants them to do. Um, you know, they've got energy. They've got a belief. They, they want to take on the challenge um, in the Premier League. And, and sometimes it's tough. So I think we, we look at them as any other side in the Premier League. You know, we, I've mentioned this season, I think for the first time in recent seasons, that the superpowers are way in front, in my opinion. Um, but the rest are not. It's, it's a clutch of teams that are all working hard to get points on the board. And, and I think Newcastle are one of them. How desperate are you to put the home form right? There's been some disappointing results at home so far this season. Well, I think the... the the strange thing this season, I think, has been the performances within a result. I think against Watford, we were excellent for, for certainly the first half and should have been two in front, three in front maybe. Um, and the game gets away from you. So I think more than more than home or away, it's been more about the consistency within a game. So usually managers, including myself, talk about consistency over a season. But we haven't quite got back to that consistency during the 95 minutes. You know, strong spells, spells when we're, we're nowhere near strong enough. Um, so we've got to, you know, we've got to show signs of sorting that out, and I think we have, you know, the last few weeks. You have to take away the, the Chelsea and Man City game, not to park them. It's just that they're too strong at the moment. I think doesn't mean you can't get a result. I just think it's very hard against them sides at the moment. Um, but against West Ham, I thought the man mentality particularly was good to try and get a result, um, and against Leicester, it was good to try and get a result. So, you know, there's signs of that. So that's really what I'm looking for. The consistency within a performance is really important. Just grab a quick quote, but. Young lad here, youngish lad. Yeah. Running to be a away game this season. It's just time in mid 40s. Looks well for <laughs> mid 40s. What do you think of his efforts? Fantastic. You know, it, incredible, I think, the, the, the work that must go in and the energy given. He just asked me if he's Deitch fit. So said, well, this season we're a bit lower. So, therefore, it may be at the moment, uh, but we're looking to improve that. But no, no, fantastic. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, a couple of weeks ago, yeah. So he's going through his uh, rehab now, but he's on the grass already. So making, you know, good progress. So the surgeon is obviously happy and... Yeah, yeah, all good. So this should, he's obviously had the operation in the summer, didn't he? Then... Yeah, it was, only, it was only a sort of... A, I think there was a slight opening that can sometimes happen. So it wasn't, you know, when they, when they got in there, it wasn't anything too drastic and, and dealt with pretty simply, but it still takes a bit of time for that to heal, obviously. Um, but he's making really good progress now. So uh, we're, we're really hopeful on a, a, a quicker return. Yeah, well, I think I think it's given a chance again for Kevin Long, who, who delivered a good performance at Leicester and has done this season when he came on at, at Cardiff, really tough game to come into. Um, you know, but Taki's proved to be a very good player. And, uh, you know, we want him back fit. We want all the lads back fit. Ben Gibson as well. You know, we want him fit. He's had a tough start to this, the, the season um, and a very frustrating start to the season. But the more fit players we've got, the better chance we've got because I believe in the group and I believe in the group mentality. And uh, I'm sure you can sympathise with uh, Rafa Benitez's um, kind of limitations in the transfer market. So how impressed have you been? Well, it's not new to have limitations in the transfer market, yeah. that's for sure. Um, but, you know, I, I think, I think it, you know, it's just the realities of any given club. You know, theirs is slightly different, I think. And there's a little bit of noise off the pitch. Um, ours has got clarity to the way we work. It's just a different way of working, you know, and it is a challenge. So uh, I can empathise, uh, but I don't sympathise with too many on that. I don't, th I don't think we're always dashing money around all over the place, but you can certainly empathise. Yeah, but how impressed have you been with the job that you've done there? Oh, well, he's, he, you know, managers have, managers have done what he's done amongst many in the Premier League. You know, they're... I've got full respect for all managers, by the way. No, you know, even the newcomers, it's very difficult. So you have to have, well, I think you should have respect for them all. But there's certain people who've done a lot in the game, and he's certainly one of them. Thanks, Ryan. Cameras off then, please.